She wants to come home today. Look, he's right there and he's not in there my stomach is anymore. Our baby back there. <laughs> First time in the house. You ready to see your room? You gonna show him his room yet? Yes, yeah, we should. Give him a full room tour. You can find good, good in everything. Evie, it's time to go see baby Frankie. You have a surprise for me? Oh my goodness, I love your surprises. What is it? My wallet! Thank you, I need that. It has my driver's license. Thank you so much. Okay, do you remember what baby Frankie looks like? What does he look like? He'll see. He'll see? Okay, guys. April spent last night in the hospital. Poor little EB, she had the runs, we'll call it, last night. Diarrhea. Huh, it was not fun. Diarrhea. And she had a little bit of fever last night but I think you feel okay today. And um, she actually threw up a little bit. Hopefully it was just a fluke one time thing. But um, hopefully that's passed. But April spent the night in the hospital and she actually, she wants to come home today. She um, she's, can spend another night there, but they're waking her up a lot <laughs> to check on her and stuff. So I don't know that it's, helping her a lot to be there. I know they're doing good stuff and checking on her, but um, whatever, we're gonna go figure it out and we might be bringing them home today. So, EB, are you ready to go to the hospital? All right, well, that was fun. <clears throat> we were all ready to go and EB puked a lot. So that's fun, always fun to bring um, baby to a sick environment. Well, we're going to the hospital now. EB really wants to bring, bring baby Frankie home. Um, I'm not sure what April's gonna do, but oh, I miss that little baby. I need to give him some love. Okay, so quick update. Me and EB decided to come home. We didn't go get yeah, see sparkles. Frankie. Oh, and I do not like sparkles. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> Yeah, EB puked. He hasn't puked since we got home. Hopefully, it's a little bug and it just passes. She's acting fine. Yeah. And all of a sudden, it's, I think it's just a little throw-up bug that's going around our neighborhood or something. But we're just hanging out. Kids are at school. She, we're just uh, taking care of her. April is relaxing in the hospital. And I think some friends are coming to visit her. So um, just recovering. And I'm trying to get the house fairly clean for her to get home. Careful. What would you like to eat for lunch? Oh, wow. Oopsie. Okay, we made a mess, that's okay. We're just gonna clean it up. Now don't throw up milk, okay? That's kind of gross. Okay, let's have I some fun. I spit it out. Oh, you spit it out? Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to leave it in my mouth. Oh, oopsie. You guys, but we're only gonna have Frankie come home tonight if you guys want him to be here. Uh, of course we do. Right, if you guys are excited enough. So let's tidy up a bit so we can come to a nice home. I've kind of been cleaning all morning, but you guys want him to come home tonight? Mm -hmm. I think he should. April is donezo with the hospital. They're getting Frankie checked out right now, making sure his vitals are clear, he's breathing good, blood tests are good. Okay guys, here it is. This is a big moment. I'm going to, we're gonna take Frankie home. I remember the first time leaving the hospital with Zaid and you're so taken care of in the hospital, like 24-7, they're coming in, checking on anything you need. Oh, you know, just everything. And and then I remember heading out to the car and I'm just like, I mean, you're just gonna leave us here? You're gonna trust us with this baby? I just throw you out and you just figure it out. So it's always funny strapping them into the car seat the very first time. <laughs> they're so little. So I'm looking forward to this. April, this is our um, same stroller and car seat that we've had the whole, for, uh, we had it with Eby the whole time, but April cleaned it up real good, so nice and clean for baby Frankie. All right, guys, I'm here. I miss this baby. He got even cuter while I was gone, so he's progressively getting cuter every single day. And I think he looks the most like me. What do you think, You're April? His He's your clone. He's your mini me. He, like every feature about him. Everything. <laughs> oh man. We got um, a Davy to 
come up right behind an ED that was in April. <laughs> Got a little smile. Look at him. Are you your daddy's baby, huh? Just look at him. Good, it was your present for Valentine's Day, so. Thank you. <laughs> Had to wait a while to get it, but he's worth it. Best present ever. Looks just like you. Make that face. Yeah, same bro. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. Look how furry he is. So we're still getting final approval to see if we get to take him home. He did some tests and they're gonna Okay, so what happened is that his bilirubin levels are right below the line where it's considered like you have to have the lights. So like, the like here's the line. The jaundice Billy, Yeah, the for jaundice. And this is why I was like, because every single one of my kids have been right exactly on that line. And I'm like, that's just where my kids are, okay? <laughs> and especially because the bruising on his face, it just makes it go a little higher. So it's, it would have been lower probably if he didn't have bruising on his face, but it's like, I'm really not worried about it. Um, if he started acting weird or like being too sleepy to eat or, you know, like I've always been able to like get him on like, like this, like get him in the sun a little bit. And, he, does but he has a furry face. But um, they might they might have to keep me again tonight and then check him again in the morning. They, they said that they would do lights with him tonight. Like he, they'd probably just bring him for, for me to feed him and then put him back on the lights. You want to go home and I'll stay here? I have to feed him. Oh, you got to feed him. Yeah. So anyway, we might not be able to go home. But either way, our car seat's our up baby. here now. Take my baby. Try to stop me. We're leaving. Just kidding. We'll see what happens. It's fine. I also want him to be safe. But I just hate bringing him. They, you bring him every day until it goes down and they poke their foot and was Zade like it arced up in the same arc but it stayed below the line the whole time and I'm like finally like the fifth time they poked his heel they're like come in tomorrow we'll see if it goes down and I was like well what's his level at and she's like 16 I'm like when is it dangerous she's like 25 I was like why are we even worrying about this <laughs> Like it's not shooting and skyrocketing up. This is ridiculous. And she's like, okay, you don't have to come in tomorrow. And I was like, so then the rest of my kids, like Daisy was ordered to be on the lights and I didn't even put her on the lights and I brought her in and she was still fine. Like it didn't spike up. And then Ambry didn't have to, I think she was like a little bit lower up below the line. And then EB and Ender I had at home and they never said anything about it. Cause I think that they didn't do the test in the hospital. A couple days later when they were a little bit older and it was fine, so whatever. Billy Rubin. <laughs> He's not happy anymore. He's gonna be crying all night. He's waking up. All right, he's got his going home outfit on. He likes to nurse, he's doing good with that. EB's super excited to see him again. Maybe she should touch mm -hmm. him too. There's the burp, was that a burp? That was a burp. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good job. Buddy. There's always two, I see. There's always two. If you don't get the secondary burp, they cry some more. Okay, we're doing the foot stamp. Let's see it. Okay. This is like high tech. Mm -hmm. You know, it's kind of nice because it's like yeah. clean. Is this your first time leaving the room since we got here? Oh. <laughs> All right, April, we are good to go in the car. Look, he's right there and he's not there in my stomach is anymore. A baby back there. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. He's real. Yeah, it's now, like, now he really feels like mine the whole time in the hospital. I was like, too good to be true. Too no. good to be true. Yeah, it's only kind of. Now ours. it's true. 100%. He's true. ours. Was it? Super intimidating for you the first time um, we took Zade home, like no. when they release you. For me, it was like, mm -hmm. wait, you're just giving him to No, us. I was like, give me this baby, let's go home. It is very hard to go from home births and all the freedoms and all the comforts to but hospital you gotta answer to the man, restrictions. You gotta but answer to him. but I, feel, I feel like that's the right choice, it's good. So, yeah, I'm we're glad we did it there. We're, good. we're doing good. Introducing Where's Frankie? Frankie Orgill. Woo! First time in the house. So cute. You guys been waiting a while. I'm sorry to keep yeah, you waiting. Oh, baby. Oh, oh, poor Evie. She's been waiting all day to see him and she fell asleep. Frankie, you ready 
they see your room? You gonna show him his room yet? Yes, we should. Give him a full room tour. Okay, Frankie, this is your room. Whose room has this been so far? This has been Zayd's. 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 Ender's and Zayd's. It's a car. Oh, oh, it's so comfy. Lily, so little in there the first time. That's like our view, how little he looks. Yeah. Pick your cute self up off of the floor. You can find good, good in everything. Take a long look. I bet you'll see what I mean. All right, guys, gonna go ahead and end the vlog now. Welcome home, baby Frankie. Daisy, it's really happening. Can you believe it? Yeah. So exciting. We're already setting up some ground rules for when the kids can hold them because they're going to be fighting over him constantly. And um, I'm like, I'll make a chore chart and whoever does the most chores, get, chores gets to hold gotta, You got to earn your holding time. One chore, five minutes. <laughs> that's, a, that's what mom said. That's one benefit of having a baby when you do have older kids. You got lots of little helpers, lots of little mommies to help out. So there, there's going to be no shortage of help with baby Frankie. Mama's got to do right. most of it in the beginning. I know how to put babies to sleep. All right guys, that was quite the adventure. April wanted to be at home with baby Frankie tonight. Or she wanted to be at home and sleep in her bed. Those hospital beds aren't super comfortable, so April was like, no, not happening against doctor's wishes. Like, she's like, I'm out. So, congratulations April on your awesomeness and baby Frankie. Welcome home. Guys, thanks for watching. Find good in everything. We'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye-bye.